Everyone says cardio is the best way to burn fat, but then someone else swears that lifting weights is the real secret. So who's right? Today, we're diving deep into the science to finally settle the battle. Cardio versus weight training, which one actually burns more fat? What is burning fat, really? Before we compare the two, we need to understand what burning fat actually means. When we say we're burning fat, what's really happening is that our bodies are using stored energy. Fat is basically energy your body keeps for later, like a backup battery. When you eat more than you burn, your body stores the extra energy as fat. When you eat less or move more, your body pulls that energy back out to keep you going. So burning fat isn't something that happens instantly. It's a slow process that depends on your energy balance, how many calories you take in versus how many you burn. Cardio and weight training both burn calories, but they do it in different ways, and that's where things get interesting. Let's start with cardio. Things like running, cycling, swimming, or walking. Cardio stands for cardiovascular exercise, which simply means it raises your heart rate and keeps it high for a period of time. When you do cardio, your body burns calories mostly from carbohydrates and fats. The faster or longer you go, the more calories you burn in total. For example, running for 30 minutes can burn anywhere from 250 to 400 calories, depending on your speed and weight. The great thing about cardio is that it's simple and you feel the effects right away. You sweat, you breathe hard, and you can see your calorie count on the treadmill screen. Cardio is especially effective for improving your heart and lung health, your stamina, and your endurance. If your goal is to burn calories fast, cardio gives you quick results while you're doing it. But here's the catch. Once you stop, your body also stops burning those extra calories pretty quickly. After cardio, your metabolism goes back to normal fairly soon, within an hour or two. That means cardio helps you burn calories during the workout, but not much after. Now let's look at weight training, lifting weights, using resistance bands, or doing body weight exercises like push-ups and squats. When you lift weights, your goal isn't just to burn calories, it's to build and strengthen muscles. And while weight training may not burn as many calories per minute as running, it has a special superpower. It changes your metabolism. Here's how it works. When you lift weights, you create tiny tears in your muscle fibers. Your body has to repair those fibers, and that repair process uses energy. That means your body continues burning calories long after you finished working out, sometimes for up to 24 to 48 hours. This is called the afterburn effect, or EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. In simple words, your body keeps working even when you're resting because it's rebuilding muscle. So while you may burn fewer calories during weight training, you can end up burning more total fat over time thanks to that extended calorie burn. Plus, as you build more muscle, your resting metabolism goes up. Muscle tissue burns more energy even when you're doing nothing. So if you have more muscle, your body burns more calories all day, every day. Comparing the two, during versus after. Let's compare them side by side. Exercise type, calories burned during, calories burned after, builds muscle, improves endurance. If your goal is immediate fat burn, cardio gives faster results. If your goal is long-term fat loss and a faster metabolism, weight training takes the win. But wait, that doesn't mean you should quit cardio or skip weights. In fact, the best results come from combining both. The power of combining both. Here's where most people get it wrong. They think they have to choose one or the other. But research shows that when you mix cardio and strength training, you get the best of both worlds. Cardio improves your heart health, your stamina, and helps you burn calories. Weight training builds muscle, boosts your metabolism, and keeps fat off long term. For example, if you do 30 minutes of moderate cardio and then lift weights for another 30 minutes, you're burning calories now and setting your body up to burn more later. 
One famous study from Duke University found that people who did both types of exercise lost more fat than people who only did cardio or only lifted weights. So instead of thinking cardio versus weights, it's smarter to think cardio plus weights. The role of diet. Now, here's something many people forget. No matter how much cardio or lifting you do, you can't out-train a bad diet. If you burn 500 calories in the gym, but eat 700 extra calories after, your body won't lose fat. It's all about the balance between calories in and calories out. Exercise is important, but what you eat matters even more for fat loss. A simple way to think about it is, exercise helps create the calorie deficit, food choices help you control that deficit. So if your goal is to burn fat effectively, pair your workouts with a balanced diet full of lean protein, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Common myths about fat burning. Let's clear up a few popular myths that confuse a lot of people. Myth number one, you can burn fat in one area. Spot reduction. Nope, doing 100 crunches won't only burn belly fat. Your body decides where to take fat from, not you. Myth number two, lifting weights makes you bulky. Not true. Building big muscles takes years of intense training and a special diet. For most people, lifting weights just makes you leaner and tighter. Myth number three, you have to do hours of cardio every day. Actually, studies show that 30 to 45 minutes of regular exercise four times to five times a week is enough for most people to see great results. Myth number four, sweating means you're burning fat. Sweating only means your body is cooling down. It doesn't directly relate to fat burn. So, which burns more fat, cardio or weight training? The honest answer is, it depends on your goal. If you want to burn calories quickly, cardio wins. If you want to build a stronger body and burn more calories all day, weight training wins. But if you want the best long-term fat loss, the real winner is doing both, combined with a smart diet. The Fat Burning Combo Workout now that we know cardio and weight training both help burn fat in different ways, the big question is, how do you combine them for the best results? The answer, you don't have to spend hours at the gym. A smart, balanced plan can fit into your week easily. Here's one simple example of a fat-burning combo routine. Day 1, full body weight training, about 45 minutes. Day 2, cardio running, cycling, or brisk walking, 30 to 40 minutes. Day three, rest or light stretching. Day four, strength training again, focus on different muscle groups. Day five, high intensity cardio or circuit training. Weekend, optional activity, hiking, swimming, or sports. This mix gives your body time to recover while still burning calories almost every day. It's not about doing more, it's about doing it smartly. Even short sessions like 20 to 30 minutes a day can add up when you stay consistent. Remember, consistency beats intensity when it comes to fat loss. The Science of Metabolism Let's talk about metabolism because it's one of the biggest reasons people argue about cardio versus weights. Your metabolism is basically how much energy your body burns in a day, even when you're just sitting or sleeping. The higher your metabolism, the easier it is to lose fat. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that people who lifted weights regularly had a higher resting metabolism, meaning their bodies kept burning calories 24-7. That's because muscle is metabolically active. One pound of muscle burns about six calories per day at rest, while a pound of fat burns only two calories. It may not sound like much, but when you add up your total muscle mass, it makes a big difference over time. So the more muscle you build, the more your body naturally becomes a fat-burning machine. How hormones affect fat burning. Here's something people don't often think about. Your hormones play a huge role in how you burn fat. 
When you do cardio, especially longer sessions, your body releases cortisol, the stress hormone. A little bit is fine, it helps your body use energy, but too much can make fat loss harder, especially around the belly area. On the other hand, wheat training increases hormones like testosterone and growth hormone, which help preserve and build muscle. These hormones boost your metabolism and make your body more efficient at burning fat. So if you're doing only long, exhausting cardio sessions without rest, you might actually slow down your progress. That's why a balanced mix of both workouts keeps your hormones in check and your fat loss steady. The role of intensity. Let's talk about intensity, how hard you work during exercise. It turns out that how you train matters more than how long you train. A good example is HIIT, or High Intensity Interval Training. HIIT mixes short bursts of intense activity, like sprinting or fast jumping, with short rest periods. This type of cardio burns a lot of calories quickly, and it also triggers the afterburn effect, similar to weight training. Studies show that a 20-minute HIIT workout can burn as many calories as a full hour of steady jogging. Plus, it keeps your metabolism higher for hours afterward. So if you don't have time for long workouts, HIIT plus some resistance training might be your best fat-burning combo. Let's look at two people who both want to lose fat. Person A runs for an hour every day but never lifts weights. Person B lifts weights three times a week and does short cardio sessions in between. After two months, both lose some fat, but person B looks more toned and keeps burning calories even on rest days. Why? Because person B built muscle, raised metabolism, and kept the fat off more easily. That's the power of combining both styles. It's not about just losing weight. It's about changing your body composition. When you build lean muscle and lose fat, the scale might not move as much, but you'll look fitter, stronger, and leaner. Avoiding common mistakes. Here are a few mistakes people often make when trying to burn fat. Doing too much cardio. More isn't always better. Overdoing cardio can tire you out and make your body hold on to fat as protection. Skipping weight training. Many people, especially women, avoid lifting because they think it'll make them bulky. But the truth is, it just makes you lean and toned. Not eating enough protein. Protein helps you recover and build muscle. Without it, you lose muscle instead of fat. Not resting enough. Rest days are when your body repairs itself. Skipping them can lead to burnout and slower results. Focusing only on the scale. Fat loss doesn't always mean weight loss. You might stay the same weight but lose inches and gain strength. The mindset that wins. Burning fat isn't about doing one magic workout. It's about creating habits that your body can stick with for the long run. So instead of asking which one is better, ask yourself which one can I keep doing? Some people love the rush of running or cycling. Others love lifting and feeling strong. If you enjoy what you're doing, you'll stay consistent, and that's what burns fat in the end. Remember, your body doesn't care what workout you're doing. It only cares that you move, stay active, and eat in balance. Let's sum it up in simple words. Cardio burns calories fast, but mostly while you're doing it. Weight training burns fewer calories at first, but keeps burning more after you finish. The best results come from combining both with good nutrition and enough rest. So if you want to burn fat and keep it off, do a mix of cardio and strength training. Eat clean, balanced meals. Stay consistent, even on days you don't feel like it. Because at the end of the day, it's not the type of workout, it's the habit that wins. So now you know the truth. Cardio and weights aren't enemies, they're teammates. Use both. Eat smart and your body will do the rest. And remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. One step, one rep, and one healthy choice at a time.